I'm Wes Solom. I'm a genetic counselor from HD Genetics, a company dedicated to providing remote genetic counseling and genetic testing options for the HD community in the U.S. Today, I'm here on behalf of the Huntington's Disease Youth Organization for a series called HDU to share stories from the HD community. These stories are told by and for the HD community. Deciding to test for HD is one of the biggest decisions that someone can face. And today we're gonna to hear from Josephine who tested positive for the genetic cause of Huntington's disease. So, hey, Josephine, um, if you could tell us a little bit about you know, where, you're, where you're from, where you live, a little bit about you and your connection to Huntington's disease. And I, my name is uh, Josephine. I live in Sweden. I'm uh, currently 32 years old. I got tested uh, almost four years ago. And uh, I have uh, my father tested positive for Huntington's disease in 2010. And uh, uh, before that, my grandma was sick. Uh, so we have it uh, like four or five generations back in our family that we can um, see uh, after. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm um, an uh, ambassador for H2IO, and I'm uh, also um, doing some stuff here in Sweden for youth and uh, young people. That's great, thank you for sharing all that. Um, so how, Josephine, um, I know this is kind of broad, but how has Huntington's disease affected you? When you hear that question, how do you, how would you respond? Um, it's a daily struggle, I will would say. Uh, some days uh, it's uh, like nothing. It's uh, a part of me, and I try to um, think about the positive outcomes and uh, trying to live my life as uh, normal as possible. And other days. Uh, yeah. It's kind of tough. You you know you have a disease that's going to, yeah, put you in positions you don't uh, want yourself uh, or anybody else in. Uh, so of course it's hard uh, to know, but I wouldn't I wouldn't change uh, knowing for anything because it's uh, it's been uh, um, very good for me to know because I now can uh, focus on the, my future and. Uh, things to do and I have other um other uh, other dreams in my life uh, than before and uh, I am uh, trying to stay positive while positive so that's uh, that's my my motto right now yeah that's a really good motto trying to stay positive while positive I like that yeah. When did you first start thinking about going through with genetic testing for Huntington's disease and why did you kind of ultimately decide that you did want to test? My, uh, when my, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> when my dad got tested, um, uh, we we know that uh, it's 50% uh, per child. So uh, we, me and my sister and my brother were, uh, very focused on the thought of um, when the time is uh, right uh, for having your own children uh, then uh, we are going to get tested because we we wanted to stop uh, the disease uh, uh, if we could if you know what i mean <laughs> um so when me and my partner were um, talking about having our own kids uh, he um, has the two kids from a previous uh, relationship, uh, so um, we talked about having uh, a, a kid together. Um, mm -hmm. Then the time was uh, right for me to get tested, and uh, it took almost a year for me to go through the the whole uh, process from uh, connecting with um, the hospital and doing uh, all the psychological um, um, things you have to do before and then got tested and all the after work so a year okay. uh, and that was well four years ago now I think 
Got it. Okay. So it sounds like you went through kind of the a genetic counseling process um, yeah, yeah, to yeah. go through a testing. Okay. Well, what was that? You know, I, I know you said it's, it's about a year long process. What was that experience like? I found it, uh, uh, I think it was a very good experience for me because uh, uh, I had uh, questions about uh, stuff and uh, I was uh, thinking about uh, how to tell the, my uh, stepkids about the disease. So we were talking uh, some some of the times we were talking about uh, how to tell the kids or how to not tell the kids, uh, when to tell the kids, and um, uh, how to cope with a positive outcome, how to cope with a, a negative outcome. Uh, so for me, it was uh, it was very good to have a, a long counseling experience. Because uh, it, it gave me so much more to to stand on after I got this uh, test result. And you know, you've talked a little bit about this process and and being being a mother, and and I'm kind of wondering how how has testing positive affected you as a mother? Uh, in in general, I, tr I try to think about the uh, stuff in a um, in a bigger picture, I don't try to focus on small details, uh, uh, trying not to get upset about silly stuff, because uh, in the long run, it uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, I try to be just like that, even with my stepkids, mm -hmm. uh, trying to focus on things to do with them now, trying to uh, uh, talk to them about the disease and uh, uh, getting them to be as uh, an evolved, uh, evolved, getting them to be as much a part of the um, disease and uh, uh, my my decision to, decision to to share as, as much as they want and they feel comfortable with. But um, I think I'm I'm a very caring person. I I. I feel a lot for many people <laughs> and I try to um, embrace as much as uh, positivity, positivity in my life as, as possible. And I think that uh, uh, even uh, um, in my um, uh, role as a stepmother as well. What, um, I know you mentioned your your husband and, and sort of talking through this process. What sort of support did you have when you were making this decision of going through with testing? What what resources were there and what did your support system kind of look like? Did you, you know, um, uh, talk with mental health professionals or kind of consult with friends, family? What was involved in your decision making? Uh, so basically my partner was with me the whole um, counseling time. So it was uh, uh, me and him and the uh, counselor uh, on every occasion and um, other than that I had the, my sister uh, and my family and uh, my best friend I have a very close connection with my friends and my family so I feel very 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 lucky because uh, uh, we all want the uh, um, we want the best for each other, uh, and uh, we always have each other's back. Uh, and I feel very, very blessed to have the, the support system uh, that I have. Did you ever hesitate to kind of continue with the process? Did, or did you, you know, after you kind of look, started looking into it, did you feel sort of a pause or, or sort of any sort of, um, like, I don't, I'm not sure, or did you feel pretty certain? Um, the full way through. Uh, I want to say that um, um that I didn't um I don't know how to phrase it. Uh, I I was sure I I needed to know um. But when you're sitting with the uh, with the doctor who took the blood test and 
he's uh, repeatedly uh, asking you if you are ready. Do you really want to know? You you still can uh, stop here, uh, and uh, we can do it another time. Of course, you're going to question yourself in that moment uh, because uh, he was so pushing <laughs> that uh, as soon as you know, this is going to change your life. Uh, and um, I, maybe I, I hesitated a little bit, but uh, um, I wouldn't change it for the world. Now I know, and I, if I could tell something, if I could, if I could go back and tell something to my uh, younger self, I would, um, I would tell her to be certain uh, that the, you want to know the the answer, and it's. Uh, uh, going to change your life in the most weird ways and the most uh, amazing ways, uh, and it's going to be, it's going to be all right. So it sounds like if you could kind of go back and talk to your your younger self in this process, that you would sort of offer up reassurance. You would say that yeah. you're you're moving through with the decision that's best for you. Yeah, totally. Did you have sort of a feeling? you know that you would test positive or test negative did you you know sort of have some sort of idea going into it or, or suspicion that you would test positive um yes i thought um uh, for sure that i would be testing a positive uh i'm my father's daughter so um i look like him i have uh, the same interest uh, and um, it was like, of course, I'm going to have this too. Uh, so for me, I was, I have told myself so many times that I'm uh, going to test positive. So when I did, it wasn't, it wasn't the biggest shock uh, that I thought it would be, because uh, I thought it would be uh, like in a movie, dramatic, tears, crying, screaming, rolling on the floor, uh, everything like that. Um, but I think I shocked I, I shocked myself with my um, reaction because it was uh, more mellow than that. Okay, so it sounds like when you you heard those results, you sort of had expected to have this big reaction, but instead it was sort of uh, it was calmer. It was it was like uh, just kind of hearing it and, and processing it. Yeah, uh, and that's um, that's something uh, a lot of people uh, have asked me um uh, during the years if um i feel different from from knowing and uh, i would uh, i <clears throat> i always tell them i'm 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 more calm uh i don't uh, look for symptoms like i did before because when i had twitching or i was stressed and i forgot some what words were um uh, i would be stressed and uh, all all always looking for things to be HD related, and mm -hmm. um, now I'm 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 more calm, and I don't uh, I don't think like that, and uh, I I I believe that's uh, weird. I don't think everybody's like that, <laughs> but um, for me it's uh, it was uh, reassuring to know that I I had the disease in me, uh, and. Um, like I said before, it was something I I thought I would have. So it was uh, just a process of uh, trying to cope with uh, everything changing and uh, trying to sort out uh, stuff to do in your life if you should do things earlier or um, change dreams or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious about um, about that, essentially, if if you had any sort of reactions in, in that sense, as far as like lifestyle planning and decision making and things for your future, um, kind of related to coping to testing positive. How did that affect your your outlook and your planning for the future? I have a I think uh, I think uh, a lot of people have a bucket list uh, that you would like to do certain things uh, before you die, but um, uh, I have uh, reprioritized uh, some stuff. 
uh, like the, uh, going on certain trips uh, earlier, uh, exploring uh, places, uh, doing things, trying to say yes more often to um, going on musicals or uh, whatever it would be. Um, then you have uh, other more dramatic life uh, changing stuff like uh, should we have a kid now or should we not? Um, if we wait, uh, is it going to be harder leaving him more alone if I'm going to have some type of uh, symptoms that uh, don't uh, let me be as a <clears throat> in the in the having it, it's a little bit hard talking about this. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, this topic is is still kind of raw because I my my biggest dream is uh, to have uh, to have a child of my own yeah. and go through all the pregnancy and the giving birth and all yeah. that. So uh, it's um, it's hard to realize that uh, maybe we're not going to do that anymore. So it's, it's a grieving process and it's a process I'm still in. Um, and then um, we're not saying no, we just are saying not now. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm still young, I'm 32, that's young today, I, I would say. <clears throat> so <clears throat> uh, other things like buying a house, um, we, we don't uh, look at houses with uh, multiple stories, story, storage, yeah. multiple yeah. Uh, now we're looking at different houses with one floor, so mm -hmm. we can live there and we can um, uh, do what we have to do to make it a house for us that's going to be um, good for the whole process and the, and the whole life and the different symptoms and uh, if I'm going to have uh, trouble walking or something, uh, you wouldn't want to you there's not are not good for you when you are or have trouble in, uh I'm, I'm stuck on the baby on the baby baby stuff <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry that's okay <clears throat> so uh some life changing uh big life changing stuff is still um in process and uh, are still raw uh but um uh, I'm trying to stay positive about uh, those things too, but it takes time. So I'm curious, you know, you talked about sort of uh, how whenever you received your test results, uh, it was calmer than you expected and, and that you've tried to maintain sort of a positive outlook on testing positive. I'm wondering if those feelings sort of change, you know, like if they kind of fluctuated over time, if you had some hard times, but then kind of bounced back up to a positive outlook, what that kind of looked like for you? Uh, I would say <clears throat> that some some days are are harder uh, harder than others. And um, I would more frequently write after the testing and have the days when uh, I was uh, overwhelmed and uh, was as less positive as I am now about it. So it's a it's a process uh, about acceptance, I think, and uh, um, it's nothing wrong to have bad days and to feel like you received a death sentence. Because that was some of the thoughts I had uh, in the beginning. So this disease is so awful and uh, you've been through uh, <clears throat> a lot with um, some family members and you see this up close and you see what it does to 
certain people and uh, you see um, things happening with your close family. Uh, and I see now my dad is uh, in the later stages, not not the late stage, but he's uh, he's been diagnosed with uh, having like Huntington's disease now. Uh, he's not pre-symptomatic or anything. He's like he has movements, he has uh, mm -hmm. uh, speech and uh, uh, memory uh, things and. Uh, I think it's hard. It's hard, still hard for me to uh, see him and meet him, and um, yeah. <clears throat> so um, some days uh, when I meet my dad, um, I feel I feel afterwards uh, kind of um, like it's hard to meet him because uh, I see what that could be for me. In the future, uh, and it's a, a reminder of the um, terrible uh, stages of the uh, of the disease. So, uh, I'm I'm trying to stay positive as well during those periods, but you can't be positive all the time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's a reality check when I when I see him when I talk to him. And um, it's still hard, it's, and it's going to be harder the more he is uh, getting worse. Yeah, I would imagine. Um, this is kind of shifting topics, but uh, you had mentioned that the Swedish Swedish Association and the Huntington's Disease Youth or Organization. I'm wondering what made you first decide to reach out to get involved. I actually got involved in the HDYO before the Swedish uh, uh, Disease <coughs> Association. So uh, it was uh, uh, it was uh, the work that they are doing and uh, the kind of support and love and caring for people, people they don't know, people with uh, similar backstories and uh, all the, um, the community they share uh it's not an, it's a i just love it uh, it's amazing how people can be from uh, different parts of the world and uh, connect over something so small like this uh, awful disease uh, and um, then i uh, connected with the swedish uh, side of it all and uh, now we are doing some kind of um, project uh, here in sweden uh, trying to do a, digi a digital platform for uh, young uh, um, young people and uh, teenagers, so uh, they don't feel <clears throat> so they don't feel alone and uh, can be a part of this kind of community that uh, we can uh, so we can share uh, our stories with each other, and not be alone in this because. Uh, we uh, we are not alone that's for sure absolutely that's that's great to hear do you have anything that you would like to share with the community people out there that are considering getting tested i can always speak for myself and ask, and uh, i would say do what's best for you and um, i would i would do it i would do it again for sure um it has brought me so much different um, stages of uh, um, things in life. Uh, um, it, has, it, it has brought me friends uh, and uh, opportunities and uh, support system and um, doing interviews, doing the uh, newspaper being involved in our association here uh, it's uh, it's amazing uh, it can be it can be what you want it to be yeah. that's great i'm wondering if there's anything that we haven't talked about or that you haven't felt 
that you've been able to share uh, that you feel is important to get out there and, and make sure that people people know about you and your story? I, sure. I, I, don't, I, I don't think so. Um, okay. Something I, I, something I could mention is that uh, we have a very uh, good uh, um, system in uh, Sweden with the uh, healthcare. So mm -hmm. uh, if you test positive or if you're not certain if you want to test, uh, for uh, the disease, you can do um, PGT. Is that the right mm -hmm. word now? Yeah. Uh, and you you don't have to pay for it. Oh, so wow. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Good. And for those that are not familiar and, and are, are sort of watching this and wondering what that is, PGT is essentially stands for pre implantation genetic testing. And what that means is uh they can go through the process uh, with a fertility clinic of um doing genetic testing on embryos and identifying those embryos that are free from risk from huntington's disease and only implant those those embryos so that uh, future family planning and things like that can move forward uh, without hd risk um, there are several stories that you can uh, look up and also different definitions of, of things that are related at hdyo.org if you're if you're curious. Uh, Josephine, do you have any closing thoughts? Um, I would say if you have any questions or if you're going um, through something, there's always uh, uh, someone there for you. You can always reach out to HDYO or somewhere in the, in the country you're in. Uh, don't feel like uh, you have to do this all by yourself because there's plenty of people out there going through the same thing or uh, have been going through them. So don't hesitate to connect. Yeah. Absolutely. That's great. And that essentially is getting to the point that I would make as well. If you're looking for any information, resources, support, getting connected, um, there are several different uh, avenues out there to, to look into. But specifically, um, I would recommend reaching out to hdyo.org, uh, a wealth of information, resources, support, um, and uh, opportunities to get connected. So this this concludes uh, HDU uh, for this this session. Thank you so much, Josephine, for showing your you. sharing your story with us.